the century-old Galveston seawall was doing its best to hold back Ike's incredible fury, just a few miles northeast, the unprotected Bolivar Peninsula was being obliterated by a surge of 15 to 20 feet of water. The lowest point, I guess, was directly after the storm when you were looking at everything that had to be repaired, and it just all looked so hopeless at that time. There were over 280 houses pre-Hurricane Ike. After Hurricane Ike, there was just a dozen or so standing, of which there are 10 standing here in our subdivision, Audubon Village. It wasn't luck that these were left standing. Most importantly, they were constructed 28 feet above sea level and fortified to meet the Institute for Business and Home Safety Standards, being the first disaster-resistant community in Texas. They survived an enormous test. Our engineer has designed into these houses additional integrity, strapping, nailing, cladding, the concrete columns, of course, uh, contributed to the survival of these houses. The home sustained only minor damage, which is amazing when you look around and there is nothing else left. This should be the ultimate example for anyone living in coastal areas. When the homeowners first came back after Hurricane Ike and saw that their houses were still standing, they were elated. There was destruction, but compared to everything around it, they were intact, they were dry, they were a promise to be back at the beach again. It has created a huge interest for us. People, our phone was ringing off the wall with people interested in building one. We want one too, is what we kept hearing. And builders say that it cost only about 10% more to construct to these standards. A small price to pay for the peace of mind of knowing your house will survive. I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori.